One thing that I don't think I've ever done is to bring out all the base game guns to Silver Ridge Peaks. I have never shot any of these guns on this reserve. Let's try it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily Call of the Wild content. And I know it's not going to make too much sense to bring both the 270 and the 7mm when I'm going to be using those for shooting class 4 till 6 animals, but I just wanted to have both of them with me as we don't need the 243. That right there has to be one of the biggest males that I've ever seen in this game. Let's see if we can take him down. I honestly don't think I've ever seen this big a big horn. It's like it's completely missing its horns. What's going on? I... <laughs> oh, is this the equivalent of a bad hair day? <laughs> I... I have a feeling I need to I need to throw this guy in the lodge. There's got to be something wrong, right? I don't know. This just looks weird. It looks bizarre. I need to get that in the lodge. Okay, that's going to go wrong in a moment. There's a huge mule deer over there. And for some reason, he's not yet fleeing for that. But 300 meters out. Back in the old days, this was my go-to gun for every big game animal in the game. 7mm and i don't think it's gonna let me down i did bring the 270 as well however that is only going to be used if i need to have like a multi-shot opportunity to take down several animals or if i need to make a quick follow-up shot i will always prefer the 7mm if i'm just to shoot at a single target and yeah before you start going riot in the comments no there is no way you're going to be able to obtain this gun the 270 Warden was a uh, special limited time only gun that came out with the uh, very beginning of the game. Let's just pick him up. First shot was actually a right lung shot and the second one lo left lung hard right lung. Hey, that's a dead mountain lion right there. And what about our little mule deer boy with an estimate of, uh, I think it was actually over 300. Taken down by the 7mm, probably going to be a decent looking one. Oh, look at that shot. I kind of miss using the 7mm, but oh, got touching tips, guys. We got touching tips, um, but it's just it's just not worth it because you get almost, if not identical, then at almost the same kind of power with the uh, 30-06 bullets or even the 303. So it just doesn't make that much sense to carry around the uh, 7mm if you have any of the DLCs. This lake up here in the Swiss Valley is usually pretty good for a mountain lion and bighorn in the early morning hours. And uh, once again, it does... oh does prove to be the case we got mountain lions and we do have uh, bighorn sheep and am i gonna do that with the 270 or the ah, it's out on a long distance i think we should take him out with the 7mm just a good <laughs> measure come on that's a shot i can make right oh that's not Oh, is that bleeding out fast enough? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's bleeding out fast enough to be a uh, vital hit with this gun. This is the main issue when I start using guns that I'm not familiar with. I don't know if I should be rushing to take a quick follow-up shot or if I actually did it all right. But hopefully we did take down that legendary mountain lion with a single well-placed shot to maybe just one long i would have assumed it would have dropped over um if we hit double i can safely say that i don't think i've actually taken down any diamonds with the 7mm in probably years so uh, let's have a look here and see if we did get it or if we messed it up we did get it oh it's a huge one 39.90 right long what? Not even penetration to get to both lungs from that angle? Oh, <laughs> I know I hit the leg or the humerus as well, but still, I would have expected way more penetration off the 7mm. Well, this only kind of solidifies why I like using the 30 odd 6 bullet in the M1 over this, because we almost lost out on this guy, guys. That's impressive, man. I, I was sure we were going to see at least a double long shot, even from that distance. Oh, well. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't really worry too much about taking down two mythical mountain lions, but uh, I'm actually going to try it with the 270 and see what kind of damage we're looking at with that. We're going to zero for 300 and go a tiny bit low, and that should be a long shot. It does look to be. And that guy right there. 
also gonna be a long shot. So that is all right, I suppose. They do seem to bleed out a tiny bit slower than with the 30-06, but it's still definitely a viable option. There's another mythical down there. Might as well take him out as well. Use the 270 for that too. And that should be a long shot. It is indeed. Now let's just pick up all the mythicals. Actually did get a double long shot on that. Okay, 185 meters and a double long. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm actually kind of happy with that. And let's just take out this guy too. Single long shot. Actually not having too much issues with the 270 at this range. The one animal that I'm not sure that I'm actually ever going to get close enough on to take down is going to be the turkey. But I do have the shotgun and I'm just ending it with a Hail Mary here in hope that we will actually be able to get at least one of every species with... Base game gun! I don't think I hit it! Dang it! Ah! <laughs> Was there something flying around me as well? Did I hit? Did I hit? I did hit! Did it die? Did it die? It didn't die. It didn't die yet. Oh no, so we're gonna have a turkey flying- Oh! Let's go, let's go! Shit! Ah, that's a hit. That's a hit right there. Oh, both of them died now. Nice. <laughs> Turkey hunting with a uh, shotgun might not be too bad. You just have to really just chase them down, apparently. Uh, I would like to... Okay, we got one down down there, and then I think we should have one down up here somewhere. <laughs> Look at that amount of blood yeeting out of this turkey. <laughs> I actually didn't expect to be able to take one of these down. So I don't think I've ever shot a turkey with a uh, shotgun before. I always use the 22, but look at that right there. On 46 meters, it, it died pretty fast too. Let's go down and check the other one. We might have only hit that with a few pellets, but honestly, I did not expect that I was going to be able to take down a turkey with the shotgun. Unless I got really lucky, and I might have gotten really lucky. But um, Turkey does seem to be pretty stupid in this game. So uh, let's just see where we hit this guy as well. Oh, one pellet, guys. One pellet <laughs> in the toes. <laughs> oh my god, poor thing. Well, at least I can now confirm that the Turkey will die of a single pellet. I figure these guys are probably going to be pretty perfect for the 270 to at least try and see if we can do some follow-up shots with it and uh, if it actually has the power to take them out on a distance as well i don't know why i didn't reload that last time we're gonna be shooting around i think 270 and 300 meters on these guys so uh, let's see what we can do with that oh just gonna wait until she done well he is done drinking get your face up big boy oh come on basically gonna be like what i'm gonna be like as soon as uh, this pandemic thing is over there's gonna be head down in the bar we do have another few pronghorn over there i think yeah let's just try it honestly i don't know why i expected these guns to suck and um, they're honestly not that bad i think I went a little too high on the last one, unfortunately, but the two others did go down. And that probably going to be like an intestine or something. But I just had an idea that any of the base game guns were going to suck. And no, they're not as good as the DLC guns, especially not if you want to compare it to the 303 or the M1, at least with the 270. But it's still a pretty decent gun as long as you remember to use polymer tip bullets on these. I think we got a hard shot on this guy. We did indeed on uh, 267 meters. And the other guy, he actually did make a little run for it. But he is cuddled up all over there. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what we hit there. Apparently... What? <laughs> oh, this game today, man. Some weird stuff going on. Um, and honestly, yeah, I think I would always say just, guys, pick up the weapon pack called Smoking Barrels, because you're going to have a class 4-8 rifle in the M1 that you're going to love. It's so good. 
but the 270 might not be as bad as I have given it a reputation for being, especially since testing it out a little on a few different animals. It even works pretty decent on the Puma as well. Obviously, you could use the um, 7mm, but that is like three times the cost up front. So it is going to take you a lot longer to get to that. So buy the 270 and then buy polymer tips for that weapon until you can get um, the 7mm unlocked. I think that is the way to go. If you want to be making some decent fast cash, then yeah, Silver Ridge Peaks with the 270 is definitely a viable option. I'd really like to test it out on this black bear as well, just to have an idea of how well it's going to be doing on that. I do expect it to be able to get along, and even then, the black bear is probably going to run quite a ways. But it's just about getting the vital. Obviously, if you can take an animal down instantly um, with the right caliber, it is going to give you more money and more experience. But in general, I think you should be pretty well off with the 270. Uh, as long as you don't go hunting bison with them... Um, I think you might be struggling a tiny bit with that to Oh, I wasn't ready for that. That's just wrong gun. Come on. That should be lungs. Let's see here. I didn't expect it to get up on the uh, back legs that fast. Yeah, maybe. That's going to run on forever though, but I could not have hit anything but lungs in that area. So I think we should be good. I mean, it's dying. It's not dying with any quick kill or anything, but um, you can definitely take down the black bears as well. Let's just see here. Did we get along? We did get along, and it actually went... You saw how far it went, so... Uh, quick kill, zero. But we got everything else, so we probably missed out on, what, 200, 230, 40 cash on this guy? Simply by having it run off that far. But uh, still, you can take them down. That's, like, the main thing, right? I do want to try out the uh, 338 again. I think we should be fine, especially on this distance, but let's just go for a long shot. And we're going to go through the shoulder and hopefully... We, uh, yeah. I mean, I tried it the other day where we were running around with the uh, 470 and it actually took forever for them to bleed out. So I do believe we are looking at a long shot right there. And th again, it's everything that matters if you're looking to get your diamonds or gold scoring animals. You just need to get them down with the right check marks. However, you will be losing out on quite a lot of cash. Well, not quite a lot. You're going to be losing out on some cash and experience by having them run off this long. And that is where... I mean, I could have taken a second shot with the... 338 it would have just been running and would have been harder to actually get to where with the 300 i would have been able to place yet another shot even before he started running because he does that flinch motion oh my god i've been hit and then uh, you have like nearly a second before he starts running off and once they run it's getting a little harder to uh, actually hit the vitals that you want but it doesn't really matter too much if you're looking for diamonds and such then you just Worry about actually making that first shot count. But let's just see what... Get away, please. Let's just see here. It is a long shot. I mean, it's what to, we could have expected from this distance. So I'm actually not too worried about it. We have three different guns we can take down this elk with. And honestly, I'm gonna do it with the 338. I'm pretty sure that is gonna be a double long shot. On this distance, I don't see how the 338 should not be able to get that. Even the 270 would have probably gotten it, but it would just have taken longer to um, bleed out. And once again, we just need to test the different guns out on the different animals. And so far, yeah. Do I miss my own guns? Well, the other DLC guns. The only one where I'm going to be like, okay, I'm pretty sure I wasn't, wouldn't be able to live without this on this map. is actually going to be the 22 for the uh, turkeys. Because... Um, yeah, in general, most of the other guns has actually been performing pretty well. I don't feel as comfortable using them, of course, but in general, I mean, I can take down that mountain goat over there, no problem, with the 7mm. I could do it with the 270 as well, but why bother when you have the 7mm? Boom! That might have actually been a hard shot. But in general, yeah. Can you enjoy this game with only the base game guns? I would say so. Definitely, especially when leveling up, having the opportunity to get a bigger gun when you don't have all the perks and skills that helps you out being more stable of a shot and 
actually getting to know where you need to shoot the animals and such, I do see a uh, really, really big positive of why you should actually splash out and at least get the weapon pack smoking barrels. It just seems to be making most sense. And they are so cheap. I think they're like four bucks or something for a weapon pack. And um, you're, you're going to upgrade your fun in the game by a lot. Especially because you're not going to be struggling trying to unlock the 270 first. Before you get to um, have anything where you can take down. Why is that running away? I don't know. Before you get anything where you can take down bigger game. This is actually pretty decent. I am... I'm happy with this and that was kind of where I wanted to go with this video was that I at least wanted to bring out some of the old guns for the new people in the community. Yes, you do not need to get the DLCs. Is it going to make life easier? Hell yeah. And again, I even think you could have jumped onto SRP if you only had the 243. I would advise you to get the polymer tip bullets for the 243 and then just go specifically target mountain goat, pronghorn and bighorn. If you only have the soft points, I would probably stick to the pronghorn in the plains area. At least to begin with until you get a few polymer tips. And then everything should be fine. But get the 270 at least as fast as possible. And this guy, a huge... Well, not that huge. But a pretty looking Rocky Mountain Elk to wrap up the entire video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching.